Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. About a week ago, I received an email from Uconnect stating that my Uconnect system for my 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk was going to get an over-the-air update. So, about a week later, I got this pop-up on the screen saying that new software is ready for the system, keep the ignition on for 15 to 20 minutes, and then I can turn the vehicle off and let the vehicle continue to update 60 to 70 minutes after that and just basically update the system. So basically what happened is uh, when you put the vehicle in park, this message pops up and every time you put the vehicle in park, uh, after you get this update, this message will pop up to update it. So today we're gonna try to update it and it uses the 3G system that's built into the Uconnect, and that is the 3G data from Sprint. Uh, so it's only available in the US, uh, I believe, and I think other countries are gonna be able to download it uh, with the USB. Now the USB is was able to be downloaded from your computer, and then you plug it into your USB port. I have a video on this for last year's update, which was the Siri Eyes Free update. Um, so I made a video on how to do that with the USB system. But from now on, apparently all the updates are going to be over the air through the data of the uh, 3G Sprint system. So let's, uh, let's start here. I'm gonna hit update now. And basically it looks like it's going to download the update from the cloud and uh, I'm supposed to keep the engine running for 15 to 20 minutes and this is basically to keep the battery charged as well um, I think after so long you don't want to um, with everything on you don't want your your uh, batter, battery to be drained so uh, you have to keep your ignition on. So I just parked in my driveway here. But anyway, um, it says if you must turn your vehicle off in the next 15 and 20 minutes, the software, software update will restart from the beginning. So I'm gonna let it go and I will uh, cut to when it's done downloading. Okay, it was right about 15 minutes, maybe just under 15 minutes, and it finished downloading. And now this screen came up and it says, wait five to 10 minutes. I guess it's installing right now with the hour hourglass. So this is pretty much like uh, what Tesla does and and that's gonna be the future uh, um, over the cloud updates, uh, over the air updates, because they don't want to, uh, with all the software on board these cars, um, they don't want to have to pay dealers to do updates uh, under warranty. And this, uh, this everyone can get them and they can push updates as many as they want really. Um, to customers uh, without having to visit the dealer. So I think it's a good thing for sure. I know there's some security that you gotta, you know, worry about, but, um, you know, let's hope they uh, work that, that part out. But, okay, came back on, says wait five to 10 minutes again. Okay, well this one was definitely closer to 10 minutes for the next step and it says software update installing. You may turn off your vehicle and exit during installation. This may take up to 50 minutes and the system will shut down automatically upon completion. So I am going to, wow it's going really fast, 49% already. Uh, I'm still going to just shut it off right now okay we're just about finishing up the install stage and this took about a half an hour 
slightly less. Um, I'm sure they're saying 50 minutes, but probably gonna have to reboot a couple times. So we'll see. 99% um, right now. So once it reaches 100%, probably reboot itself. Let's see what happens. All right, looks like it rebooted itself. Okay, I had to start up the vehicle to boot the system back up since it just shut down before when it was off. And now it come up with the software update. Your Uconnect system has been updated with the latest software. Uh, some of the presets may be uh, cleared, uh, but it has what's new. So let's press that. And it includes uh, some important updates to vehicles earlier than 2016. So this is for model 2014 through 2016, mine's a 2015. Uh, I already have the Apple series eyes free capability for iPhone. Now uh, that was the last update actually. Um, do not disturb for text messages feature. That That's cool. Um, that is a new feature that I guess you could turn on so you don't get text uh, read to you during driving if you didn't want that. Let's go down here. Uh, drop and drag menu for the apps. Uh, I'll show you that. I, I did notice that down here. Um, improved security, of course. And that's about it for that. Um, so let's uh, press on the apps. Yeah, this is all new, this screen here with all these apps. And apparently you can uh, drop and drag. Okay, whoops. That is, let's see. Yep, drop and drag down here. So if I wanted my driver's seat button um, to be shown all the time instead of hitting that controls uh, button, then I can do that. So I'll mess around and see which ones I use the most, but that's pretty neat. That's a new feature. Um, like I said, the radio, uh, oh, this is, I, I noticed I was playing before. There's an auto play before when you plug your phone in to charge or anything, it would just start playing music on your phone, which I didn't necessarily want all the time. Uh, so this way, uh, now you can turn that feature off so that you can just charge your phone and it won't disturb the auto. That's really cool because that was uh, annoying before. Um, nav, uh, the voice is different though. I did notice the voice different on the nav, um, but everything else pretty much the same. Just a little bit of different fonts and, and, um, graphics here and there. This is the, uh, do not disturb button, but, uh, my phone's not connected right now. So, um, do not disturb. You can hit that and you won't, um, won't get the text messages read to you. And, um, like I said, just little, little updates, nothing huge, but, um, pretty cool that you can now, uh, don't have to worry about going to your computer and downloading the software. It's just automatic, like in the Teslas and, uh, probably some other vehicle manufacturers are doing this. So just wanted to show you guys the process. If you have any FCA product, uh, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, uh, Fiat, um, any of them with this eight inch uh, touchscreen uh, can, will be getting the update if it's 2014 through 16, uh, 17's already have the update. So any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.